Hey guys, it's Nikki with This Robin's Nest, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you a teeny tiny thrift haul, just enough items to make a video that I've picked up um, recently. And I just want you to know that two of these items I am like so elated about, but I'll get to that. So, the first item that I got is obviously a piece of milk glass for my collection, and how fitting is this for Easter, you guys? It looks like just the perfect little egg shape, and it has the sweetest. Let me take this lid off. Little like, almost looks like daisies. And it's just perfect for spring. So I got this at Value Village. It was $5.99. The next item that I got, I took right off the cart. You know when they bring out the little cart and they're like putting items out on the shelf? I just went straight over to my eye zoned in on this and I was like, I've gotta have that. I know I do. And it turns out it was a brand new candle from Bath and Body Works for Easter 2015, so current, and I will show you guys what it looks like. So it's really pretty, and the scent is amazing. It's cotton candy marshmallow, I believe, and I, I never even saw that in our Bath and Body Works, so I'm not sure if it was a test store candle or if they sold out and I just never saw them, but... I got mine for $5.99 at the thrift store, and I'm burning it in the background there. So that was really exciting. Okay, now the third item, I have five items to show you guys today. The third item I picked up, because my daughter, if you guys have been watching my channel, um, you would know that she is having an Alice in Wonderland tea party themed birthday party for her fifth birthday party coming up this summer. However, and I'm conflicted about this, I just want you to know. She has been begging me for a Paddington Bear Party ever since she saw the movie. Um, but I'd already started purchasing things for Alice in Wonderland, and I'm in love <laughs> with the Alice in Wonderland theme. But I know that it's going to make her heart happy to have Paddington Bear. So I'm considering switching over to Paddington Bear for this year and saving the tea party items for another year because she is a little girl. She can use that theme any year, you know, probably up until the age of eight or nine, I would think would be appropriate for a tea party or Alice in Wonderland. But I was kind of conflicted about switching over because we've just already purchased some of the things and I didn't want it to seem wasteful. So, but I was at the thrift store and I found this great big Paddington Bear book. Now I already have like vintage suitcases and I could see making marmalade sandwiches and all, all of the fun things that go with this movie. And if you haven't seen this movie out in the theaters, um, I really enjoyed it personally. So we've actually been to see it twice and we're going to get it when it comes out um, on DVD. So I picked up this book. It was um, put together, I think it says Great Britain and it's from the 70s and see here if I could show you guys an illustration or something from inside of the book. There's so many cute ones. I don't know. He's just the sweetest little bear, isn't he? Um, but this was a great find and it could be used at the birthday party. I could either give it to her, but it more likely be used for um, decor. So I think we're going to head in this direction, you guys. Stay tuned. You'll, you'll find out sooner or later anyways. Okay, so down to the final two items, which are the ones that I'm really excited about. This baffles me. Like, I don't know, it might not be your taste, it might not be anybody's taste but mine, but I don't understand why people get rid of some things. They're just, I, I don't know who would turn this into a thrift store, I don't know. It's an ice cream maker, it's a really old ice cream maker, but it's in the most beautiful color, you guys. Look at this. It's like, oh, and it's really heavy. I think it's got cast iron inside um, the maker there. But it's in this really, really pretty blue color, and the label is really cute. And I don't think I'm going to use it to make ice cream, but I'm definitely saving it for that dream farmhouse someday when we have a kitchen and I can put it on display. And I love the color. And the label says, Maid of Honor. Um, two quart hand operated ice cream freezer made of honor ice cream freezers are sold only by Sears Roebuck and Company so this is gonna be an antique if it's not already I'm not sure what year it's from but Sears and Roebuck you guys know obviously um, when they used to have their catalogs and stuff like that um, so this is really cool you guys I was really really excited and I paid $7.99 for it yeah $7.99 so, pretty exciting find to me. 
And finally, I'm not going to lift this bad boy up because it's super heavy. I'm going to show you guys with the camera. So I'm going to take it off the tripod here. Okay, you guys. And finally, I found this really cool suitcase. No, <laughs> well, it is a suitcase, but that's not what I'm so excited about. Let me open it up and show you guys what's inside. Okay, so I have been searching for a typewriter and it is really exciting because it's a cool color that I can put in my office and use as decor. Now, I would have preferred like a pink or maybe like a mint green, but this green is just light enough that I think it'll fit in. And by the way, you guys, I am finally moving into my craft room office downstairs, so uh, probably when we get back from vacation um, sometime, in May, I will do a room tour of this. You guys, so totally unrelated, I wanna show you these fabulous tennis shoes, I think, um, that I found by Sperry Topsider, which is a company that's been around since like 19, the 30s or something like that. Their shoes are really comfortable, durable, and this is the perfect color for spring, in my opinion. And here they are. And they're the um, Sperry Topsiders. And they have these cute little like coil leather knots right here and I like the label and I just like everything about these and I haven't worn tennis shoes like this besides like a running shoe or a workout shoe since like the 90s and so I just fell in love with these they're kind of like boat shoes and I don't know you guys tell me are these like am I geeking it out by wearing these or are these cool now or have they always been cool and I just wasn't part of the cool club I don't know um, regardless I'm wearing them I love them but I'm just curious if um, people are wearing these kind of shoes or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Total departure. I know this random shoe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.